Academy peeps and welcome. Um, before we get into the video, I'd like to give a shout out to this lovely person right here for leaving a comment and I highly recommend that you pause the video and read this comment because those are some amazing tips. Anyway, if you'd like to be the comment of the week, all you have to do is comment. Also, I have a Patreon page if you're interested in things like early access to videos, so the folks over on Patreon have already seen this and are on the next one. Like, what? Also, um, I do like a monthly wallpaper over there and polls, community posts, behind the scenes stuff. I also recently uploaded a studio vlog style video and also a, an exclusive speed painting of September's monthly wallpaper. So if you'd like to see all of that, you can head over to Patreon. Um, and those last two things, those are available to all tiers. So there you go. Anyway, um, this week's video is of a uh, digital drawing that I did the other day. Um, I, it's the same characters from last week. It's my OCs, Myra and Lint. And lately I've been really inspired to work on Lint's story again. Because uh, I go through phases where it's like, oh my gosh, I must write all the things. And then phases where it's just like, what are words? <laughs> So right now I'm in the oh my gosh I have to write all the things phase so I'm trying to make sure I keep that momentum going and stay inspired so when I sat down to draw I was like let me draw these two I was just like let me go ahead and do it because it's going to keep me inspired and that's what I really need so that's what I did. Um, so basically in the story there's a part where these two go to a fair and like the scene has been in my mind for a while and I have written some of it, but I haven't like updated it to fit the new plot and stuff, so I still have to do that. And I think that's like the next thing that I have to write, so I'm excited for that. But since I haven't written that yet, I decided to go ahead and draw it. Um, so that's what I did. And this, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, <laughs> this caterpillar that the character Myra is holding was pretty difficult to draw surprisingly because I had to kind of figure out how like in what direction the caterpillar was going and where the segments of the caterpillar would be in relationship to how where to which directions it was going so it was kind of I had to like sit down with myself and think about how that all works and I actually gave up on the caterpillar for a moment I was just like this this is just ain't gonna work this is a no and I, I, I like copied uh, some of the line art so just in case I could come back to it, which I'm glad I did. And just completely got rid of the caterpillar for a moment and I drew a dino and that didn't work out as well as I thought it would. And then I tried a snail and that also did not work as well as I thought it would. Um, I found I was having a lot of trouble trying to make things, make the plush thing look three-dimensional and look as if it was she was actually holding it um, and that's that's really a, the problem I had with this snail because I actually was gonna keep that but then it just looked really flat and who wants a flat plushie? Nobody. So I went back to the caterpillar and I'm glad I did because it's one of the, my favorite things about the drawing is a caterpillar. Um, so glad I did that. Glad I kept all that which is a I guess a little random little tip I can throw in there. Oh my goodness. If you are drawing digitally, which I guess you could maybe do this traditionally, but if you're drawing digitally and you feel like you're at a point where you have to change something now, specifically with like the line art or something, do not delete it. Because the thing that you think right now is really bad and you don't want to keep it, you might want to keep that later. You might come back later and be like, oh my goodness that actually did look better than this so don't delete it just copy your line art um, copy the things that you're you know for sure that you're gonna keep and even keep the thing that you don't think you like at this moment and try the new thing that you want to do and then come back to the other one and kind of compare things and see which one actually works best because sometimes it's just you just need to um, look at something with fresh eyes as they say you just need to come back to it so that's what I did and I'm glad I did because like I said, the caterpillar is my favorite thing in the drawing. Um, also, this drawing is a lot similar to the stuff I've been doing for commissions lately. And I noticed that I don't really do, like the stuff I do for commissions doesn't really look like the stuff that I, 
I show you on my channel or even the stuff I post on Instagram a lot of the times. Like for my personal stuff, well, I have mentioned this before. I have cubital tunnel in one of my arms, so I have to really pace myself when I'm drawing. So, you know, I really prioritize commissions a lot of the time. So when it comes to my personal stuff, I don't put a whole lot of time and effort into it because I know I can't really do that and do commissions at the same time. Um, so I just really want it to have a really nice personal, well, personal in quotations, <laughs> drawing. Um, so it's really similar to stuff I do for commissions, so it's got a lot of lighting stuff, a background that's not just plain or just like a blank, not blank, flat color. Um, there's some shading in there. Um, and this really, this phase that I'm going to for I guess, um, was definitely inspired by September's wallpaper. Yes, I'm going back to Patreon. Um, Patreon. Because that drawing, I put a lot of effort into it and I wanted to make sure it was really nice. And I really enjoyed drawing that. It was really fun. Uh, so I figured why not keep that momentum going, you know? Maybe that should be the title. It probably won't be, but anyway. Um, so I just want, I just really wanted it to, you know, splash it up a little bit. And I'm glad I did because I really like this drawing. There's some, like, it's not perfect. There are some things I look at and I'm just like, mm. And Lince's arm was one of those things. His hand specifically. It looks like it's facing the wrong direction a little bit, but it's actually just, I have the hand, it's not at the correct angle, so it just looks weird. And... I didn't really feel like changing it. I didn't feel like redrawing it because I really noticed that it was really, really off. Um, by the time I had finished the drawing, I was like, I don't want to redraw that. I'm done now. So I just ended up cropping it out and it can be like that sometimes. But I actually do like the hand itself. I think the hand itself looks nice. I just think it's just the wrong angle. So I just, it looks kind of weird. But <laughs> other than that, well, there are a couple other things, but <laughs> for the most part, I really like this drawing. I even added a bit of a texture to the drawing later, like a grainy texture, because I was originally going to draw, well, color this with Copix, but um, I really wanted to do the background and stuff, so I decided to just do it digitally. Um, so, but I still wanted to kind of you know, give it some texture, kind of, I guess, a, a nod to what could have been <laughs> with the Copic markers. Because Copic markers have a really grainy texture, um, depending on what paper you use. So it's kind of a nod to that. But anyway, here's how the drawing turned out. I really like it, as I already mentioned. The Caterpillar is my favorite. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I have a Patreon um, page. If you would like to support me, you can get things like early access to videos, which I mentioned earlier, monthly wallpaper, community posts, polls. Uh, things like that, um, and also shout outs. Oh my goodness, speaking of which, shout out to my patron, Terrible Buns. Oh my goodness, thank you so much for being a patron. I really appreciate you and everything that you do. Wow, um, also, you can support me on coffee, or you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, or you can follow me on Instagram if you want to. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please enjoy the rest of your day, my peeps.